Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call today with His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of discovering the biggest oil field ever in the history of Bahrain. His Majesty the King thanked Allah the Almighty for blessing Bahrain and its people with this field, wishing the Bahraini people constant welfare. He thanked His Royal Highness the Premier and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the head of the High Committee of Natural Resources and Economic Security, as well as members of the committee and the officials in charge of the oil sector for the good results which will further contribute to promoting the welfare of the Bahraini people. His Majesty the King lauded the efforts of the High Committee of Natural Resources and Economic Security under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for carrying out the royal directives of giving utmost priority to oil exploration, mapping out detailed plans for that and following up on their implementation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of discovering the largest oil field in the history of the kingdom, adding that the achievement is the result of the directives of His Majesty the King. He stated that progress and achievement are main features in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness pledged to His Majesty that he will continue on this task of His Majesty's progress and development approach, which receives the approval and support of citizens. He wished His Majesty abundant health, happiness and success. Following directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to give maximum priority to oil exploration operations to increase the country's resources as part of the Comprehensive Development March is spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, put forward the detailed exploration plans. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the members of the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad and His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa following the discovery of the new resource which is forecast to contain highly significant quantities of tight oil that by far exceed those of the Bahraini fields in addition to the discovery of large quantities of deep gas. The new oil field discovered during His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era has been the first since 1932 when the first oil field was inaugurated in Bahrain during the era of the late Zahanas Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and since then the oil resources have been devoted to enhancing Bahrain's development process. Following the issuance of the Royal Directives to intensify the exploration activities, the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security requested the National Oil and Gas Authority and NOGA and National oil companies to use the best available as excavation technology which resulted in the uh, results of the number of oil fields over the past period in cooperation with the world companies. The new field will increase Bahrain's competitive potentials and enable it to carry on implementing its development projects and initiatives as well as honoring its commitment to friendly countries and global financial markets. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince gave directives to Noga to to determine the feasibility of excretable quantities from this new field and to develop plans for its development over time, taking into account the geological nature of the site and the production costs to ensure that uh, it contributes uh, to the kingdom's natural resources and development march. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gudabiya Palace a number of senior officials, intellectuals, media personnel and citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that failure is the outcome of all who threaten the strength and unity of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness went on to assert that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the awareness of the people towards their national responsibilities will remain cohesive, adding that Bahrain will remain as 
not an oasis of security and stability. His Royal Highness stressed that the leadership supports all that which unifies the people, which will lead towards further developments and achievements. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the role of uh, clergy and media men in spreading awareness through society on the importance of preserving security. His Royal Highness lauded the noble stances of the people of Bahrain that faced the uh, futile attempts of spreading hatred, highlighting that such stances embodied the highest forms of patriotism and allegiance to His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadabiya Palace a delegation from a Salhiya village who expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his directives to follow up on the housing needs of village residents. His Royal Highness affirmed that citizens' needs is the utmost priority, expressing the keenness of the government on providing all services to citizens. His Royal Highness directed the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Housing to inspect 
inspect poor condition houses in El Salhia and to meet low income families and fulfill their needs. His Royal Highness stressed that all developmental projects in the cities and villages of the kingdom aim to provide comfort for citizens on all levels. He added that the government too will continue to achieve the aspirations of the citizens in various areas of the kingdom and that all energies and potentials are directed to the cities and villages in Bahrain. The Prime Minister enlisted to the infrastructure development and housing needs of El Salhia residents. He stated that meeting the needs of the citizens is the duty and responsibility of the government and that efforts will be exerted to achieve a prosperity and growth for the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the progress achieved in the development field of providing the requirements of citizens, especially in the field of housing. For their part, the residents of El Salhia village expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the model he provides in communicating with citizens and identifying their needs, hailing the openness policy of His Royal Highness and his support to all citizens. They also commended the efforts of establishing the foundations of development in the kingdom. They stated that His Royal Highness's directives of the following up on the needs of villages in the housing sector embodies the, uh, the approach of His Royal Highness of communicating with citizens. Fatma Salman Mohammed delivered a speech on behalf of Asal Hayya residents and Mishal al Malki recited a poem to His Royal Highness. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي يا صاحب السمو الملك الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس مجلس الوزراء الموقع إنه ليوم عظيم أن نتشرف بلقاء سموكم وكم كنت أتمنى هذا اللقاء وأحلم به ولكن بعد طول انتظار تحققت أمنيتي فأني سعيدة أن أراك وأن أصافحك يا نور هذا الوطن ويا مسك مملكتنا الحبيبة فالكل يتغنى بحبك ويشدو بخليفة العز وخليفة المجد وخليفة العطاء وخليفة الأمل فكلنا مع خليفة نساء رجال وأطفال وقدم لك مني باقة حب ووفاء وأختم كلماتي بدعاء بسيط يا رب يحرسك ويحفظك ويطول بعمرك ويحفظك للبحر وشعبها والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله القصيدة منبع التاسع شهر وحيها هز الجذع ويصاقط بحبها شعور صايما عن كل قصايد أو مدايح أو فخر حالفا ما أفطر إلا لين أشوفك يا الجسور وصبحها أنجب قرايح والفرايد والشعر جزلة جات بمهدها جادت بأروع قصور ما سوى اسمك ينومسها على طيب الذكر من شموخك حتى ديوان الشعر كله فخور قومي يا حروف القصايد والمعاني والزهر وعتقي عود الجمايل وفرشيها بالزهور والبسي أحلى الجواهر من زمرد أو حجر وفرحي بصبحك مدام إنه أمامك في حضور هو خليفة ابن سلمان اللي باسمه نفتخر لا طوى بشته يفكك كل صعبات الأمور حتى قصرك ما ترك مسكين في حيرة وأمر مجلسك في هالمراجل تحشم اللي لك يجور يوم جانا طامع يوم جانا طامع ناوي بنيه من غدر احتزمت احتزمت بشعبك وشعبك تحزم بك غيور العلاقة بينك وبين الشعب العلاقة بينك وبين الشعب كانها بحر كل ما يجزر بحرها مدها غرق بحور كل بيت 
كل شارع كل كبري كل شبر كل صبح كل ظهر وكل لحظة بالعصور كل كف كل دمعة تدعي لك طول العمر وكل رمشة وكل نبضة وكل إحساس وشعور كل أم وكل ابن وكل والد بالفجر قلبهم يدعي يحفظك يا جعل أفراحك سرور يا ذرى البحرين يا في الأمن وقت الخطر يا وفى الوافين يا درع الوطن وقت النفور لليتيم لليتيم أحن من نفح المباخر والعطر وللعدو سيف مسلط ضربته تقطع نحور يا خليفة لك وسط قلب الشعب هيبة وقدر واسمك مضاوي واسمك مضاوي وغيرك ينعمي ينعمي من كل نور يا كثر حسادك اللي ما تغيره من قهر زيدهم غيره بنهضه خلدتكم للدهور بالنيابه بالنيابه عن جميع الشعب اعلنها جهر انت درع للوطن حامي عن الديره غيور بعض الشيوخ بعض الشيوخ اللي عطى يحس بالمده بالمده خسر الا خليفه مدته فاقت عن اموال وقصور الا خليفه مدته فاقت عن اموال The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee's Hana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the historic victory of Emirati horses in the International Dubai World Cup Carnival. His Hana Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the race has attracted world countries to Dubai with the attendance of over 60,000 spectators hailing the continuous follow-up of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, which contributed to the remarkable organization of the race. He noted that Sheikh Mohammed's future vision of the race and his follow-up resulted in the high status it achieved in terms of competition, organization and financial benefit. It also attracted a large number of owners and horsemen who participated in the race to gain the most renowned title in the horse racing sports. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Zahan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the competitions of the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Arabian Horse Show concluded. The President of the Arabian Horse Organization, Prince Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, along with members of the Board of Directors of the Royal Federation of Equestrian and endurance racing also attended the first, the last day of the championship. Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed bin Abdelaziz Al Saud crowned first place winners of the tournament which witnessed an exciting uh, and competition between stable owners. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the presence of Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed in the competition proves the keenness of the AHO to support horse show championships hailing the AHO's contributions to the success of various events and activities organized by brief. He expressed uh, thanks and appreciation to Prince Abdelaziz bin Ahmed for following up and attending the championship. His Honor Sheikh Nasser highlighted that this tournament provides the right environment for stable owners to participate in such competitions, indicating that the championship preserves the heritage of Bahrain and emphasizes that the kingdom's positions on unique Arabian horses. His Honor Sheikh Nasser stated that this competition maintained its high reputation since its launch and up until its fifth edition as the competition witnessed a visible development in the offspring of the Arabian horses by their owners. His Highness also praised the hard work exerted by the Royal Equestrian Federation and endurance racing for their keenness to elevate the championship at the highest organizational level. His Highness extended his thanks to all the heads and members of the committee working in the championship pointing out that this 
success gives us the great incentive to continue supporting the owners and stables and congratulated the winners of the first places in all categories. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and part of His Highness's fourth Ramadan sports tournament, Nasser 11, the Cowboys show was held on the sidelines of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa's championship for the beauty of Arabian horses in Al Qudra village, which hosted Al Marai Festival 2018. Many of the stable owners participated in the event with a large audience of fans and horseback riding enthusiasts. The owner presented the participants with a beautiful painting throughout their performances and the horseback hard riders. The festival's activities included shows of authentic Arabian horses, musical ensembles, camels and, and selugi dogs, and the organizing committee presented illustrations and fascinating paintings of popular heritage sports that received great support by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. First place winners were crowned. The Kingdom of Bahrain won the World Challenge and entered the Guinness Book of World Records after the Bahrain International Challenge of the 24 Hours Futsal Championship with a new record of 23 hours, 45 minutes and 8 seconds at the tournament under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. It was organized by the Bahrain Olympic Committee to enter the Guinness world records for the first time in the sports level which aims to promote the kingdom on the global sports map on behalf of the personal representative of his majesty the king for charity work and youth affairs president of the supreme council for youth and sports and chairman of bahrain olympic committee his honor sheikh nasser bin hamad al khalifa his honor sheikh khalid patronized the event and received an official certificate from guinness records from the representative of the company ahmed jabbar president of the bahrain volleyball Association, Sheikh Ali bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Table Tennis Association, Sheikh Hayat bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, and a number of senior officials were all present. His Highness then honored the winners as well as the referees. He pointed out that the number of participants exceeded 235 players, divided by 8 teams. He congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on this occasion. He expressed a pride in the Kingdom of Bahrain for making this achievement which contributes to enhancing the status of the country on the international level. He said that the accomplishment reflects the strength of the sports sector in the Kingdom thanks to the 
the support of His Majesty the King and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness said that the achievements confirms the country's ability to achieve a number of objectives, including enhancing Bahrain's position, highlighting the kingdom's efforts in implementing projects and programs aimed at spreading the sports culture in the society, achieving the principles of values of the Olympic Charter, and encouraging young Bahrainis to exercise. He praised the role of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the organizing committee, and the participants in ensuring the success of the event, which reflects their ability to take on all kinds of challenges in order to enhance the progress and prosperity of the kingdom. He also hailed the role of the sports, arts, and media figures in contributing to the success of the event. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al-Salah where it approved the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law approving Bahrain's joining the multilateral agreement between the specialized authorities on automatic exchange of financial accounts information. The council also approved Bahrain's joining the Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance in Tax Matters. A draft law on amending the provisions of the Civil and Commercial Procedures Law issued in decree by law 12 of 1971 has been approved. The council also approved the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee's report on a proposal amending Article 326 of the Civil and Commercial Procedures Law issued in decree by law 12 of 1971.